Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Reitland. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. Welcome to Mordheim, City of the Damned. All right, welcome. Just welcome to Mordheim, the City of the Damned. Um, yeah, hey guys. Uh, yeah, so this is Mordheim. Um, if you haven't seen it before, um, it's uh, it's basically you you take a, a war band. You can level up all you guys, given different equipment and stuff like that. You can play as any of these different factions: vampires, skaven. Chaos, Sisters of Sigma, um, Empire Mercs, or Witch Hunters. Um, they're all really cool. Like, I love every one of them. All the, like, all of them are really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, oh, and the game is really cheap. If you're really interested, there's a link in the description below to the Steam page. It's not on special on Steam right now, but every time they have a Steam sale, it goes on special for, like, 90% off. So you can always get it super cheap. And um, if, it's not, if it's not on special like it isn't now, you'll be able to get it from Instant. I think on Instant Gaming it's on special. So it's, like, $1.50 or something. And you can get a Steam key from Instant Gaming. So... Highly, if you haven't already bought it, highly recommend you go over to Instant Gaming, get buy more time. Even if you don't feel like playing it right now, just get it, get it anyway. Just chuck it in your library. One day you'll have a quiet, you got a quiet weekend. You can just delve into it and have a great time. Anyway, we've already got, um, we've got a war, a war band called the Corpse Grinders Guild. We're, um, we're uh, a cult of the possessed chaos war band, but we're themed on uh, on corn and um, worshiping the blood god. So like, corn, these bloody men, I make my gift to you. That's what it's all about. All about serving the Axe Father. So this is our warband. Um, basically, just give you a quick. Anyone who hasn't seen it before, give you a quick rundown. What we're doing is um, these um, these guys. We're keeping at level zero. So every time they level up, we just get rid of them and hire new level zero guys. That keeps our average warband level down. Every time you go into a battle, the AI will like match your rating. So if we keep if we keep these guys at level zero, it keeps our average kind of low. At the same time, we're trying to build some elite characters that are going to really strong. Um, so the, we've got these two tanks that have got quite good stats um, and they're hard to hit um, so they're making good tanks we've got this guy as our leader he's got a bunch of skills that basically allow him to he's not that powerful himself but he can buff everybody else to make them stronger in both with magic and with abilities and he can give up his attacks to give extra attacks to his allies so basically he just he, you get a powerful uh, damage dealing character and this guy basically feeds them and makes them do heaps more damage um so we've got everything we've got set up that we need we've got two tanks we've got this guy buffing and we've got these guys to basically be like suicide guys to just throw in the way of a danger to protect our valuable guys the only thing we're missing is a damage dealer we need like an elite damage dealer that just can kill everyone um so we've got this this guy we're working on he's um he's rank seven um so he's already pretty high level um he's got good stats um but he uh, and he's got some good mutations like decent mutations um but he doesn't have all of his skill points unlocked in order to yeah we're going to train more skills to make him better but yeah but um but yeah he's got clawed feet give him two extra range two extra movement range um it gives him eight movement so he's, he can charge further than everybody else um plus we've got um he's got his Norse charge ability every time he charges he does he does uh 20 increased damage uh, from then on after that um 
crit, crit resistance. Um, he's got this special ability attracting lure. Basically, he can make people who, anyone who can flee from an engagement, he can make them flee. So it's unfortunately, it doesn't work on undead, I don't think. I don't think it works on undead. I don't think it works on Dark Souls. Um, I haven't tried, I haven't tested it out fully, but yeah, I, I've never really used this before. This is my first time using it, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like maybe I wasted it. I shouldn't really have taken that on him, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll come around and really like it. Swift Charge is like a normal charge, but instead of doing 50% damage, you only do 25% damage, but you, by you bypass 30% um, of their dodge and parry chance, and your chance to hit is increased by plus 20%. So basically, this guy can always hit on a charge. He's got really good bonus to hit. It does a bit less damage, but he always hits, and he by good, good chance to bypass their defenses to make sure that charge lands. Um... So yeah, so this is yeah. So the thing is, like, he gets his Norse charge bonus only after he deals damage with a charge attack. So the charge attack has to hit, you know. So that's why this, rather than going for a heavier charge that does more damage, we go for like a lighter charge that's guaranteed to hit. That unlocks our twenty percent damage increase. Then we can also buff his damage another twenty percent from his leader doing Warcry. Plus we can put, um, plus we can put. Um, uh, um, weapons of destruction on him like spell gives him another 50 percent damage plus 20 percent armor pin armor penetration um we're going to give him blood offering um probably i think i'm going to give him blood offering um deals regular damage after that you do 50 percent increased damage for the rest of your turn um and an extra 10 percent crit chance so basically you know we're just going to build him up to yeah he hits hard and then he hits more hard after that yeah anyway you get the gist so yeah, so we're trying to build killers, right? That's our job now. Everything else is settled. We, we, got, we can level these guys up more. We've got to fine tune them. They're just like the basic version of the tanks, but we've kind of got all the pieces except for the killers, right? So we're trying to we're trying to make him a killer. Um, we've also got this guy. He's just rank one. He's got um, one mutation, which is clawed feet, um, which means that he's got the extra movement range. So he's like, it's kind of like the other guy. He's super fast. He's even faster. He's ranked movement nine. So he can outrange Skaven, which are really fast warband. Um, so he's got that. So if that's good, that's not bad. It's like, like, it's good, but he needs, we need him to get like crusher arm or uh, third arm or something like that. Like some more damage deal. Well, what I would like is to see him get some more damage dealing potential um to make him and then make maybe make him uh the our killer guy um and then i've also got that one's no good he's too tanky he looks really cool though uh he's got like a tanky mutation but we want we want killer mutations and then this guy he's got he's also only level one but he's already got the um crusher mutation um which gives him four percent increased crit chance on this hand i think if we give him a better armband like uh like a magical weapon armband that'll increase those buffs um but yeah so he's like yeah he's got one good mutation so if we're lucky with the other two he's got potential he's got he's got a mutation that's not bad um, but he hasn't got any damage stuff yet but he's he's not ruined but he's not neither of them are ruined but neither of them are yeah their works in progress anyway that's where we're up to at the moment We'll send off um, some wood stone. My objective at the moment is just to make as much money as I can. So whichever one of these gives me the most money is the one that I'm going to send it to. That'll take three days for the money to... We send off the shipment. It takes three days for our payment to arrive. But we've got a bunch... Of, we've been sending shipments every day, so we've got other payments that'll be coming in. Uh, this guy's wounded. Um, uh, old battle wound reduces his accuracy. Yeah, so he's like, he's like wounded. His, his wound's not too bad, but we're going to replace him when he gets to probably level two anyway to keep him his level low. So we may as well just fire him now, um, and we'll just hire a new level, a new rank zero guy. Just keep that warband ranked low. So these worst and rush ones are the best ones for getting XP and extra loot. The easiest one to do the secondary. Um, this says one of the warbands. It's random whether we're going to be like the attacker or defender, but one of these, one of the warbands, and this is going to be scattered randomly, scared by something, which is not awesome. And the other warband is going to be in three strike teams. So one warband is going to be organized into three groups of three, 
three or four, and the other one's just going to be randomly scattered around. So if we're the one that's randomly scattered around, it's really bad. And even if we're the one that's in the groups of three, it's not that great either. So that one's a good reward, but very dangerous. This one, one warband's exploring buildings, the other deploys tightly around its wagon. That one's actually going to be quite safe. Basically, one, one warband's going to be inside a, a, a building, which is not that great. The other one's going to be tightly around their wagon, which is really nice. But we're both going to be separate. We're going to be separate and not mixed up together, so that'll be pretty safe. But the but we can, won't be able to do the secondary objective. Crush their will is basically impossible to do. So we won't get as much reward out of it. So it's either we can take this one, which will definitely comfortably do it, but we won't get that much reward. Or we can do this one, where we potentially could get a really good reward, but it will almost certainly turn into a complete shit fest and everyone will get murdered. So we will go for that one. Moving through a supposedly deserted area of the city, you find yourself suddenly surrounded by enemy warriors and must make a stand around your wagon. Father! Let the slaughter commence. A new round has started. Witness me! Oh, I forgot to give this guy a weapon. That's right, he's gonna have a dagger. That's right, this guy's main job is just to die anyway, so it's fine. Okay, this is actually really nice for us. This is really nice. We, we got so lucky with this. Um, so we our, our warband is, is nicely around our um, our wagon there, whereas theirs is all scattered and spread out. They're, um, they're not really that far away, so they're going to hit us pretty quick. Um, they're going to hit us pretty quick. Um... One does not care from whence the blood flows, only that it flows and the skulls keep rolling. That is correct. Um, all right, so their lord's going to go first over here. Um, then that guy, then that guy. Um, so... Um, So we'll go over here, we'll um, we'll um, pray to our idol, pray to corn. Went to Comic Con for Warhammer stuff. Sounds pretty cool. Hey, you on day one, by the way. Welcome, welcome. So my lord, my lord, my lords over there. Um, I just want to, I just want to basically protect my lord. So I'm just going to put this guy in ambush stance, um, and um, yeah. So when this guy comes in and tries to attack my lord, he'll, this guy is going to intercept him, unless he does that. That's right. Well, these guys, their job is basically just yeah. That's that was his job. He did his job. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> that was his job. To just get murdered. All right. Now this guy is hopefully eventually going to be a killer, but he's not really one yet. Um. He's also not very tanky either, so I don't want to expose him too much. So I'm going to keep him in here. Um, it costs two red when you got when you got two-handed weapons or two weapons. It costs two red pills for the first attack, three for the second. So he can't attack twice anyway. Uh, if I charge, then I get 50% increased damage, um, but we get minus 10% chance to hit. So I don't know. Always be charging. Um, but yeah, so this guy causes fear. Um, 
so hopefully at some point we can get some people feared up so they get minus 30% chance to hit. Dodgy, got a dodgy flagellate. All right, this is our new blue spear. Does a little bit of damage. Okay, um, now this guy is pretty tanky. Um... This guy's pretty tanky, but if I, so I could put him in here, but if I do that, then it's not going to leave much space. I don't know if we'll be able to get another guy in and I really want to get a killer in there and just wreck their Lord. So I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to get him to pick up this guy. This guy's in ambush stance. So if you, um, most likely. So if you mouse over him, you can see he's got four red pills max. Normally he's got five, but because of the the the, the special starting event we got was the ambush, um, which basically means that they're surprised they lose one of their red pills. Um, so yeah, so he's got he had four to start with, but he's missing two, and he didn't attack anyone. So th and that's because he used two to go into ambush stance. So you can kind of tell that they're in ambush stance. So if I had moved in front of him, he would have charged out at me automatically. But yeah, so he's sneaking sneak in so we can't do it. It still gets to do a counter-attack, but he only gets one counter-attack, so it's not too bad. Alright. Now, now, yeah, now he's only going to get one attack back at me next turn, and I've got a dodge, 95% chance to dodge, and, um, and also high melee resist, so we should be pretty safe to tank him for indefinitely. Um, but yeah, hopefully, if the fates allow... Oh, I hope he left enough room for me to sneak around and murder their lord. What did you say? Um, we could do like three on one this guy over here. But I kind of want to keep everybody together. Yeah, all right. We'll um, we'll just we'll stack on this guy. Uh, we'll try and see if we can get rid of him relatively quickly. I want to keep all you guys together so they can support each other. But I feel like mm, I feel like we've got enough guys over there, hopefully, so they can kind of handle the business. All right, here he is. Here's our big boy. He doesn't have any blue weapons yet, so he's not really doing heaps of damage, but hopefully it'll be enough. Oh, we can't get our charge in. Yeah, we can't get our charge in, unfortunately. But that's alright. I've got a little bit of damage. What? Do you say? Alright, this guy's got an ability called Warcry. But if we do it there, it's not going to quite hit our Marauder is who I need it to hit. What about if we go right on the edge here? Ah, uh, that's like... Ah, oh, it's so close. Um... Alright. Well, um... What about there? 
Uh, nope. Okay, we get our Marauder and our other damage dealer, so it's not too bad. Yeah, he's going to use an order to make Ulfberth attack again. We'll get him next turn. Unfortunately, we're going to take some hits from him this turn, but that's all right. Did you get Helldivers too? Looks like a game for you, story-wise. <laughs> nah, not my not my type of thing. I don't think for Sigma, but um. <clears throat> But um, but now I'm glad you're enjoying it. I feel like everybody's just about everybody's playing it. But yeah, I'm not really into shooters and stuff that much. that one we might get him because I think the possessed goes before him in the initiative order so we might actually get him before he gets to attack that would be pretty cool oh no the possessed can't go before him because he the possessed charged him after he went there yeah uh, well, at least he's on the tank I guess but Frenzy, we need some frenzy. Yeah, I don't really have time to play other games as well, post -tumor. sorry. It's like, yeah, it'd probably be fun to play, but yeah, I just don't really have time to play other games. Unless it's like something I'm streaming and yeah, I just feel like it's not really the right type of game for my channel. Um. So we could go after that guy. Uh, I was trying to get around the back so that we could charge, so we could charge the flagellant. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't like this side anymore. It's um, it's not looking good to me anymore. A new round has started. Might, um, I'll stack, uh, I'll put this guy over here, just so that this enemy here will have to, um, he'll have to choose between two targets and also he'll, um, or three targets, and he'll also have to make an all alone test. Actually, he would have already had to. Yeah, actually, he would have already had to. That was a bit of a waste. Should have put him on someone else. Um, why do you say it's a game for me story-wise? Just because of the overall gung-ho, gung-ho, over-the-top cheesy nature of it?
Um, I've watched a bit of content for it. I'm not sure if I watched the trailer though. Or maybe I did watch the trailer. I don't know. I watched something. We drop this guy. Oh, I think we can. Come on, just need one more hit. There he goes. Glorious. Okay, that's really good. Um, so, I mean, our, we did lose a guy. We lost. They got first blood. We lost our first guy before they did. But, um, but the guy we lost was just a, uh, a henchman, whereas they just lost their uh, their leader, their strongest guy. Okay, um, well, they've got, we've got three on one on that guy, so he's going to have to make an all-alone test. This guy um, is immune to fear and terror, so there's not really much point stacking up on him, unless we want to try and make him our kill, next sort of kill target. Um, but this guy over here is not immune to fear and terror, so we can, we can go in a melee with him, make him make a fear test, which he failed. Um, and uh, also we can bring in another guy onto him, so then he'll have two on one and he'll have to make an all alone test as well. Yeah, like they weren't sort of far enough away that we were able to really back up and kill them before their reinforcements got there but we but they were they were sort of spread out enough that like we were able to get every single one of our guys into the first round of combat whereas they weren't so we got a nice little head start kind of wish they'd stop killing my henchmen but um starting up Wurzag for the first time very nice. Well, I can't give you too much advice about that. I don't think I think I've barely even played the Wurzag campaign. Maybe like once. So I'm um, uh, yeah, probably can't really offer you too much advice. Anyone in chat got any uh, advice for first time Wurzag campaign for CH? Who's the major? Who's your major starting enemy that you need to deal with and so forth? Who's Wurzag need when you buy? Foot of Gork, yeah, get Foot of Gork as soon as possible. That's good advice. I, I, I can go with that. So yeah, so would you just take, like, would you literally just take one point in blue and then just one point in blue line and then just go everything into magic until you get Foot of Gork before you get any red line or anything else? I feel like that's quite often a good, good tactic if you have a strong Spellcaster Lord, just go all in on magic. Um, first. We should probably kill this guy since he's already nearly dead. So you could do normal charge for 80, 85 damage, but it wouldn't kill the guy. Or you do a 95, won't kill the guy either, but it's more likely to hit. And if he, if he did, did happen to have dodge up or something, it would have more chance to bypass. Boom, dodge fail, cool. So that was perfect, it was a good idea to have that do that because we made him, made him fail. Um, Savage Orcs are awesome and super cheap with the right followers. Oh, is there a follower that gives you cheap uh, Savage Orcs, kind of like the way the, um, kind of like the one for Goblins? All right, I kind of reckon, yeah, well, we see, we're not really going to get the secondary objective anyway, just because I haven't got time to run over and get all these wordstone. I, sp uh, I suppose I could, I mean, I've got blue pills. I could run over here right now and grab some. Objectives updated. 
Every time you pick up Wordstone, though, you've got a chance to get a Wordstone curse that debuffs your um, your stats. So we're Objectives by picking up so dead. much Wordstone in one turn, we're probably going to cripple this guy, but we might get lucky. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. Yeah, this guy's probably our most cornate dude right now. Leave this guy here for now. Um, we'll put him in. Oh yeah, I forgot to give him a weapon. Yeah, I forgot to give him a weapon. Crap, I should have given him. Yeah, actually, I won't even bother with. Um, won't even bother with dodge stance or anything. I'll just put him here so he's ready to charge on that guy. Oh, how much damage? How much hit points that guy got? He's kind of like full hit points. Um, actually, let's. Get him. We'll try and bring him over to the other stack where we can help him kill that warrior priest. Yeah, so we'll just leave this henchman here to die. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna get 14 pieces of wordstone. Yeah, we aren't gonna be able to do that. In here. Yeah. All right. So our next hit's going to be thirty-nine to forty-nine. Whereas if we were to order, order him, he's going to be fifty-five to sixty-three, which is quite a lot better. Um, we can walk away these guys. Hey, Andy. Yeah, you're going good. Yeah, Skarsnik's my favorite green skin as well. Yeah, get wrecked, son. Alright, and we'll, um, yeah, we'll chuck one more attack on this guy. This guy is also going to have all alone because he's got three three enemies on him. So he is quite likely going to fail his leadership test and not get to attack or anything. Warrior Priests are so cool. I really like my Witch Hunter Warband and my Merc Warband. We've got, got Warrior Priests on them. guy like so nearly died <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I don't really want to have to kill this temple, um, this Templar. Right, we can go in here. Oh, shit. Watch out. <laughs> um, has he got a gun out? Has that guy got a gun out? No, he's got a hammer. Um... All right, well, um, we'll just, I'll just stack up on this guy. So at least there's one less, uh, one more target for our possessed so instead of just killing our possessed. So we can try and keep our possessed alive, that'd be great, but he's kind of a death machine. He goes down pretty much every battle, so. A new round has started. Okay, um... <clears throat> Alright, might be idle of blood time. So, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna move about there. Oh, actually, yeah. So, is so Captain Codpiece was saying the the uh, the radius of your AOE backlash if you if you get Zeech's curse. So when you when you cast a spell, you have to roll to see if you successfully cast the spell, like if it works. And then if it and regardless of whether it does or not, you have to roll to see if you get Zeech's curse, which is like backlash. Um, and it's apparently the AOE effects have five meter radius, so you don't want to be too close to your allies when you do it, right? So that's six meter radius because I've got six move, six meter move. So if I move in a little bit closer, then hopefully if I do get backlash, it'll hit the, it'll hit that warrior priest as well. But um, hopefully we won't we won't get backlash. But yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put idol of blood on these guys. No backlash. All right, cool. Um, and we'll just cruise on in here. Strip some. Uh, yes, yeah, so every time I attack while I'm inside the Idol of Blood, I get healed by 10 hit points. So I just healed myself for 10 HP. There's another 10 HP. Uh, also, I'm immune to like uh, running or like failing leadership tests and running away um, while I'm inside the, the idol of blood as well. And uh, yeah, and a bunch of our guys are buffed with it now, so this is good. We might be able to get a little bit of a heal on the possessed, but I doubt it. He's probably gonna. I mean, even if we do, he'll probably still die. <clears throat> Thirty-nine, not bad. Oh man, this guy's chopping him up. Lower. Alright, that's cool because now there's like one less guy that potentially is going to hit my possessed. Um, oh, he's got War Cry on him, makes him do extra damage. That's why he was laying down so much pain just then. Are you able to make a Nurgle themed warband like you're doing with corn? Is it at all viable or so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like the core things that make Chaos warbands good are not reliant on which god you follow. You know what I mean? Like, 
we don't really we don't really have to follow you don't really follow a god or anything like basically all i'm doing to is like my, to make my warband a corn warband is that i only use two spells weapon of destruction which basically just makes your weapons do more damage and idol of blood which is you can see it there it's got a big corn symbol on it indicating it's very cornate um so i'm basically only using like a dam like a one that in makes your weapons more powerful which i feel like is kind of warrior themed and this and the idol of blood which is literally the corn spell so um but they that's not really the core thing of what neither of those like yeah the core thing of what makes chaos warbands good i guess is the mutations and being able to build like just monstrous reckon damage dealers you know uh i guess i don't know anyway yes you could definitely make a, a nurgle themed one for sure Yeah, I think pretty much anything is viable to a degree, but, um... Alright, I'm healing myself. He's coming back to life. He still probably doesn't have... He doesn't have quite enough hit, um, hit points to survive a single hit. So he's almost certainly going to get dropped by this guy in a second, but, uh... It is what it is. If we're lucky, we can make this guy fail his leadership test. Um... Oh, it'd be good if we could get the killer, our killer in there. I'm on off berth. I don't know if I left enough room though. Oh, looks like we did. No, I can't charge though. That's right. Uh, actually, I'll just um delay because my magister is gonna go next. So my Magister... Ah, uh, what? There's a bit of red there. I should be able to get him. Um... Yeah, alright, well... We'll just, um... We'll just walk, right? That hits almost our entire Aussie. Twenty percent extra damage for everybody, including our uh, our Marauder. Then we'll order the Marauder twice. Oh, actually, might. Uh, Forty-three. Oh man. Actually, all right. We'll order. Actually, we'll order. Um, yeah, we'll order, order vagabond butcher. He does a bit more damage. Nah, not enough. But yeah, I just I can't get in there to do one more hit to him like I would like to. Um, if we could I wonder if we could just get the exact Possessed is dead. I would guess. Oh, he didn't hit the possessed. Nice. There's too many enemies. He's got confused. He got confused and spread his damage around all over the place, except for the one guy he could have killed. Oh no! Oh, yes. 
This possessed is just trying to live. He's just trying to live, goddammit. Why don't you let him live? Let's charge this guy. So we can charge or we can swift charge. So we go swift charge. Um, I think the last guy to go is Vagabond Butcher. Um, he's got more damage than this guy, so... Actually, we might just try to... Oh, shit. <laughs> so I thought that was the... I went the wrong way. It's this guy that moved. Yeah, we'll just go over here. And quickly... Steal all this wordstone. Objectives updated. If we can get the secondary objective done, it'll be massively advantageous in terms of how much experience we'll get. We'll double, like, it'll double our experience. Um, and we'll get more loot. Objectives updated. Oh, in order to do that, we need to um, collect over 13, 14 pieces of wood stone. So, yeah. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. quite charge can we I'm not sure if I can do can I yeah, we can tiptoe a little bit here and then that will put our, our blue dot there instead of where we were before and then we can try and tiptoe Oh, so close there. Um Oh, actually, it's fine. I'll just go on this side. Uh, uh can we charge here? There we go. Probably miss. No, did not miss. That's it. So yeah, so unfortunately they didn't stay up, they didn't stay up long enough for us to get all the loot, but that's right. The decadent trappings of order shall be cast down. The triumph of chaos is inevitable. The Shadow Lord will remember his loyal servants and they will have a place in the coming darkness. I wish you could make an entire warband of just um, warrior priests. That'd be pretty cool. I also wish that you could get like... I wish you could get warrior henchmen in the... in the... in the um, witch hunter warband. But yeah, I think you can only get... Hen you can only get marksmen. But marksmen's still cool. I want to get like a... I want to make a marksman. Remarkable. Brain trauma, intelligence and maximum intelligence are reduced. I feel like I argue he's actually improved by that. He's stronger now. 
that doesn't hurt him either, but we're probably going to replace him anyway just because we need fresh fresh meat to throw into Your the grinder. Band is getting stronger. Hey, rank 6 now. Uh, doesn't don't really get much advantage of uh, from rank 6 but looks like, there we go. Blue shield. Can't use the handgun. Blue light armor is right. Yeah, we need blue one-handed weapons is the problem. At the moment. Um, oh, actually, I do have a blue axe, I just realized. This guy's got a blue axe. Oh, shit, I could have given that to to my dude. Um, yeah, we'll give... Um, I wanted to give this guy a sword in his offhand, because then he can parry. So his parry chance is 52%, where his dodge is only 25 So, I mean, 52% is not that great, but it's, you know, it's something. Whereas 25% dodge is basically nothing, you know. But um, but his primary job is not to stay alive. His primary job is to kill. So I'll give him an axe that's got slightly more damage. So what's his, his damage now? 47 to 55. Rather than 41 to 49. Yeah, so it's a significant uptick in damage. Plus when you increase that by 20% and, and everything, you know. It's a good hit. Um, I need some um, blue clothing. We've got some blue light armor, but we haven't got any... Actually, we should just give... Oh, no, we can't give him light armor, yeah. So now that he's got this chest mutation, it means he can't wear any armor. Normally, these guys can wear light armor, but, but not him. Yeah, I mainly just want him to do as much damage as possible, so we keep going with strength. Um, each point of strength gives you um, plus th plus 3% um, melee damage. Nice. Um, but yeah, so that's um, that's the Cornwall band. I'm probably only just going to do one mission tonight because I'm pretty tired, but just wanted to like do a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to show quickly show. My other war band. So yeah, so I wanted to make... So I've got my Karaburg Greatswords, which is my, my pride and joy. This is my favorite war band. They're um, Empire Mercs, but all of them use heavy armor and great swords, which is a very non-optimal, um, very non-optimal setup, which does uh, involve a lot of them dying a lot of the time. But um, we're kind of making it work, though. Um, I'm actually kind of liking it. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is our, our warband. Um, currently, our leader's wounded, but. Get him in his proper, proper kit. So yeah, just all great swords all the time. Actually, maybe we should put our warrior, switch our warrior priest to this guy, so he's a bit more. Uh, actually, we can switch that guy with that guy. Then we'll look more, you know. So yeah, so all of my empire, Mer all of my native empire mercs are all heavy armor great swords. That's like that's their theme. It's like a great sword company, and then they are also they're escorting a little sigmarite contingent of a warrior priest and a sister of sigma. I'm actually going to get an, another warrior priest as well. So I have two warrior priests and a sister's a sig sister of sigma. Um, but I'm only, yeah, I only I'll only field two of them at a time. So the majority of my warbands all all uh, heavy armor great sword guys. But yeah, these guys are so they look so cool. They're fun to use. Big damage, big charges, all good. Um, and, um, but yeah, then I've got my vampire warband that we're working on, that we're, work, tr we're trying to level up some necromancers, or trying to hire some necromancers. Um, and then I've got my questioners. Ah, oh, they're in the middle of the battle though, so I better not jump onto them. But yeah, my question is basically a witch hunter warband, but I'm trying to level up their um, level up their their um, influence or their reputation or whatever with um, so that they can get Empire Merc marksmen, which is like the ranged ranged infantry. And so then we'd have like a witch hunter captain with two pistols, two witch hunters under him with two pistols or at least one of them, and then um, we could have. I guess we could have a young gun with pistols. I don't know if young guns. I don't think young guns are very good shooters though. 
um, or maybe a warrior priest or whatever, and then have um, and have five five marksmen henchmen. So we have everybody in the warband with with guns. Um, but I feel like the I've, like you can do this normally. You would do that with mercs, but I feel like the witch hunters like lend themselves better to the gun thing because like the leader he's got a dodge sort of skill, um, which kind of works well with better with guns. I reckon uh, with like with ranged guys. Um, Oh, I don't know. Nah, that's bullshit. I just like it because the witch hunters look cool. You have like a witch hunter with two pistols. They just look really badass, I think. <laughs> that's the that's, the, that's the reason, basically the whole reason for the witch hunters. Um, witch hunters gun gun band. But I'm trying to work on it. And my sister's warband, Holy Order of the Penitent Hammer. My sister's warband was... Um, folk there. It's like a, the, a saint... Like I've got my Maiden of Sigma. She's a damage dealer with Frenzy. She just goes in and just wrecks stuff. She's all damage, all damage all day. And then everybody else just follows her around and just makes her kill stuff. She's kind of, it's kind of like the Corn Warband, except for it's Sigma instead of Corn, but basically the same same theory. Um, but yeah, so she's pretty fun. But anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much everything I've got going on. I started a new a new Sisters Warband just so I could start from starting from the start. Started a new um, Empire Warband. Just so we could um, have a Middenland themed warband. Don't know what happened to them, but yeah. Anyway, whatever. Check it out. Check it out if you want to get it. On. There's more information about the game on Steam, um, and um, or if you want to get it cheap, uh, I think it's on special right now on Instant Gaming for a couple of dollars. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll chuck a host over to somebody, but I um, I got to go to bed. I think. Yeah. Hope you guys all have a good night, and uh, I'll uh, catch you later. Thanks, Hook Monkey. See you, buddy. See everybody.